Hi, everybody. Lori here from My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun project to share with you using some new March release products, starting with the Stitched Eyelet Rectangle Stacks, along with the Tranquil Swans Stamp Set and Coordinating Dies. So here's the beautiful Tranquil Swans and these two little leafy branches I'm going to stamp repeatedly onto some solid color cardstock, and then I'll use the coordinating dies and create a wreath. I used to say this, haven't said it in a while, but it still rings true. Have a leaf, make a wreath. So what I'm doing here is I have some light green solid color cardstock, and I'm stamping it with some light green ink. So kind of a tone on tone look. And what I'm doing is using the Misty, pushing the little panel of green cardstock around so that I don't have to move the stamps. I'm not measuring, this is what you call the old redneck eyeball it technique. I just push it up until there's room and then at the end of the tippy top, I flip it over and just try to be thrifty and nifty with all that space. So I stamped about eight, eight little leafy branches. Now I'm moving on to a darker shade of green and using a darker shade of green ink. Just kind of a tone on tone. There's a lot of different ways you could add color to these leaves. You could boss them in white on solid color cardstock. You can emboss them in white or clear on white cardstock and ink blend with green ink, or you could just simply stamp with black Copic friendly ink, color them with Copics or watercolor. So many ways to add color. Now here's the coordinating dies to the Tranquil Swans. Stamp set, I'll take these off camera and die cut all of these leaves. I'm gonna have way more than I need, but I wasn't exactly sure. Did I mention I'm gonna make a wreath? I did. Have a leaf make a wreath. So I just wanted to make sure I had enough. And then I decided two shades of green just wasn't going to cut it. So I pulled out some of this kind of a darker green. I don't know what you call it, but um, I'm just doing more. And then I even do one more kind of out of a darky teal, bringing in a slight bit of blue for a little pizzazz. Again, using the coordinating dies to cut these all out, taking it off camera. And then I'm going to have more leaves than you will ever need. But hey, you can save those. Make a wreath another day when you're in the mood. Okay, so set those set those leafy pieces aside and we're gonna move on to the stitched eyelet rectangle stacks. Looks like there are four different sizes. I'm gonna use the second to largest. It's a little bit smaller than an A2 size and that'll give you a nice border when I put this. I'm gonna use a cream card base so that this white little panel, I love the scalloped edge, gives it a nice little finish. But we're moving on to the swans, the tranquil swans. I fell in love with these cute little swans. We get them every once in a while on our pond. We live in a little pond and we get a couple swans. And uh, But Hank, our pupper, he just kind of scares everybody off. I'm not going to say he's a bully, but um, he likes to charge. He likes to charge at them. So I stamped those with Versify and Onyx Black ink. Use the coordinating dies to cut them out. I'm going to pop up my scallop panel on a cream card base. And then here, I'm going to start the formation of a wreath. Again, I'm doing the old redneck eyeball it technique. I'm just rotating all those different colors. You know, I was tempted, you know, I was tempted to make a rainbow wreath and that would look beautiful, but I just kind of kept it blues and greens here for a tranquil vibe. And of course I have a lot of leaves left over, but once you get the formation you like, you pull out the old press and seal. Shout out to Ken McGuire who invented it. An invaluable crafty tool, who would have known? And then you can press down and hold your wreath formation in place that we could flip it over and add your adhesive of choice. Today I'm just using glue. Uh, you could also use foam tape, but I already popped up my scallop panel, so I didn't want to get out of hand. But you know dimension is life. So flip over that press and seal, center your wreath, press it down. I put an acrylic block on it, held it down, let it sit for a couple of minutes till it was dry enough to carefully remove that press and seal. Now, what I really love is that there was just a dab of glue, so it still leaves room for the beloved zhuzh. Now, I didn't use a Copic friendly ink, so I'm being very careful to add some subtle details. I'm using, I don't know if you could see the marker cap there, it's E03. 
zero, zero, zero. And I'm just adding little swoops along the base of the feathers and the base of the swan. And then a very, very light orange for the beak. Although I, I'm not sure if our geese's beaks orange. I want to say they might be black. I don't even know. Okay, rosy cheek. You got to have a rosy cheek. I mean, you got to. And then a little bit of foam tape. And I'm going to nestle these two swans right in the center of the wreath. And now since one is larger and one is smaller, it kind of makes me think of a mother-daughter or a mother and a child. But it also could be a husband and a wife. Like this could be a great wedding card, anniversary. Um, there's a lot of fun sentiments for various occasions in the Tranquil Swans stamp set. Here I'm judging. The judge is just for pure enjoyment. Okay, here's the sentiments. I'm going to use daughter, but there's um, mother and friend and other ones there. I'm going to emboss this in white on a little piece of that kind of dark teal cardstock. It was one of the same shades that I use in the wreath, so it's all going to kind of tie in. I'm pouring on some white embossing powder, and then I will heat that with the gun. Heat that with the gun. Heat that with the heat gun. And then carefully trim out this little sentiment with my little mini guillotine trimmer to a nice little sentiment strip and then I will use some foam tape and pop that up right at the base of the swans. Now not that it needed it. It certainly did not need any embellishment but I felt like you know if you're gonna go this far you might as well you know what they say go hard or go home and I had a bag of sequins. Lord knows I have sequins in every color under the sun and I just so happened to have some the color in the wreath. So I just scattered them all around and uh, just give it a little shimmer and shine. Fun card for the daughter, but you could sub it out for a mother, for a friend, for anyone who just needs a tranquil swan vibe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure and check out the My Favorite Things March release. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.